Tis the season to receive gifts and to give gifts. Mm. And so today we're going to talk about giving and receiving of gifts, but not the material kind, right? Right. We are Dr. David and Teresa Mabry from One Another Marriage. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. That's right. Hey, so the topic today that I wanted us to deal with are these ideas that, yes, I have something. I've already gotten your gift, he by has. the way, for Christmas. Yeah. And it's wrapped and under the tree. I know. I like to get things early. You know, I have not gotten yeah, how are you his. Coming? Did you get mine yet? I have not gotten his gift yet, his material item gift yet. So I still have time to tell you exactly what I want for mm -hmm. Christmas. You do. And, and then for me to say it and then for you to go, ooh, I got the wrong thing. No, you're going to no. get the right thing. <laughs> Well, whatever I get, you will like. <laughs> yes, I will love whatever she gets. I, you always get me great gifts. Yes. But then what we want to share today, and we want to encourage the couples with today, is mm -hmm. talking about there are certain gifts that we encourage couples all the time to give to their partner on an ongoing basis. And especially this holiday season, you can consider like, okay, am I giving this gift on a regular? So non-material items. Mm -hmm. So... For instance, I'll start us off. I have okay. an idea for a couple. Uh, one of them, and these aren't in a particular order, but just kind right. of, I was about to say, here's the number one. I was like, no. not the number <laughs> one. But uh, one of them is um, like emotional openness or just being mm -hmm. able to share openly. Just kind of, kind of putting yourself out there and being mm -hmm. kind of, th that's a gift to your partner. And I know that's not right. easy for everybody out there. And particularly some men, but some women as well. But many men have a hard time kind of just being emotionally open. Uh, but but that's a valuable gift to your partner. And think about it. It's a valuable gift because there are not many people that you are emotionally open with, nor should you be, right? right. There are very, very few people, and your spouse probably is on a short list of, like, one. Right. <laughs> so, one, yeah. One or two. Yeah. Right. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, I would say another gift item would be any of the five love languages. Mm. So whatever love language your spouse um, has, be open to yep. giving that, which hopefully you're doing on a regular basis. But if you're not, mm -hmm. challenge yourself to give the gifts of quality time, acts of service, gifts, words of affirmation, and touch. Yes. So, Good job. Um, yes, I had yeah. to think through them there. Um, <laughs> That's all your wheels turning. I know, like, I was like, wait, make sure you get them all. I know. Yeah. But, um, but that is a great gift mm -hmm. to give to each other is mm -hmm. that gift of a love language. For each of us, that mm -hmm. is a gift of quality time. And, and so, yeah, wrapping that up and putting mm -hmm. that under the tree or yeah. in the stocking this year. I like that one. Okay, how about this gift? Healthy assertiveness. Mm. This is kind of like a twofold gift. Okay. Like you can both give this and, and so healthy assertiveness. So being able to say what you want more of or less of right. in the relationship. And also coupled with that is the gift that you give your partner when they do share, uh, have healthy assertiveness, and they say what they want and, uh, less or more of is repeating back active listening. So actually mm. understand seeking and actually the, the skill is active listening but right. seeking to understand and communicating right. that understanding. So in other words, the gift is being um, assertive, not aggressive, but assertive with your spouse on what you want more or less of. And then the gift of actually listening and to right. understand and then share that back. Like, hey, so what I hear you saying, and I know some couples that we work with is, and we understand that some couples we work with, it's like really awkward. So I hear you saying this, 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 this is like, don't, you don't have to be awkward about it. Yeah, don't be that bad. <laughs> just hear it and be like, okay, so you're saying that like on a regular basis, we just look at each other because it's like day in, day out kind of thing. So you're saying this or did I hear you correctly when you said this? And it's like, and usually the response is, uh, yeah, that's correct. Or it's, um, no, what I meant was this. And right. so when you have like this understanding that we're, we're not attacking one another when we make a request, Right. for more or less of something, then that truly is a gift. It truly is a gift when yeah. you are able to be very clearly communicate that. Exactly. Exactly. That's a good one. No. Um, I think another fun gift of uh, non-materialistic would be the gift of spontaneity. 
Oh, yeah. So sometimes in our relationships, we just get into the same pattern and the same routine. Mm -hmm. And I know for our relationship, um, one of us may have just like a spontaneous idea. Hey, mm -hmm. let's let's go do this, or um, let's uh, let's stay up later on this night because we want to just watch you know a Christmas movie that's mm -hmm. coming out, or or whatever yeah. it is. But but being open to the gift of spontaneity, allowing for some of that excitement to come into the relationship, into your marriage. So um, mm -hmm. that's a fun one. I think that's Are you a, putting a plug in to try to get me to watch like Christmas movies? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> but She did request that this year. And I, I said, okay, we'll watch Christmas movies. Right. Um, and right. so we're more than we normally do. Right. So. But in that spontaneity, it may be like, hey, let's um, mm -hmm. let's make some like hot chocolate and, you know, yeah. um, have like, you know, a, a special snack or something and, yeah. and watch. Or I know we've done this in the past before where you're just kind of sitting around and, you mm -hmm. know, it's getting darker earlier. And so the spontaneity is, um, you know what, let's just take a drive and go see lights in different neighborhoods. Yeah. Now I and know just you're kinda, doing requests. And we just got, <laughs> we just, and last year though, we did a very spontaneous uh, gift mm -hmm. like that to each other and actually um, uh, landed in a wonderful neighborhood with, oh, yeah. uh, they even had um, a radio station, an AM radio station yeah. tuned in. And so it and was really great. the entire neighborhood yeah. was on the same kind of song. song and it yeah. was Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. And so, yeah, that was, yeah. So a good. gift of spon so, spontaneity. spontaneity. Yeah. Be spontaneous. Yeah. And that goes back to your other point with like even quality time or speaking mm -hmm. love language. Sure. And so, um, hey, another one we want to mention is um, I think one of the most powerful gifts that you mm. can give is the gift of uh, forgiveness, of, yeah. of granting. And, and even seeking forgiveness can be a right. gift too. But granting forgiveness is a huge gift. Mm -hmm. And so this, this holiday season, you may find that there have been some some minor or even major hurts, um, woundedness right. uh, from that your partner has done is that, that kind of committed against you. So when your partner shares that you've maybe hurt them, um, uh, you've been maybe wounded them in some way, be be ready and willing to say, hey, you know, I see how that hurts you, mm. and um, I, I want, I'm going to try really hard not to do that again. Uh, will you forgive me? Those that key Those question. Are key words. And then the gift of granting forgiveness and so saying back to that partner so seeking forgiveness but then giving back to that partner mm -hmm. yes i forgive you not oh that's okay no big deal or um to, or to kind of letting it go under the carpet but actually voicing i forgive you that is a precious gift mm -hmm. so those are some of our ideas or suggestions on non-material gifts to give each other in your relationship this christmas season that's right and feel free to comment down below. Maybe you actually have another thought or an idea of a non-material gift that you could give as well mm -hmm. um, that would be something different than what we have said. Or possibly you want to comment and say, yeah, I really liked this one and explain why that meant so much to you. That's right. As always, we are available to you on our YouTube channel here. You can still have access to us. Uh, we coach couples on a regular basis, and whether you're in our geographic area or not, we do Zoom call coaching, mm -hmm. as well as in person for those that are in our area. But reach out to us. You can find us either reach out in the comments or find us on our social media and Facebook or our, our webpage, which is oneanothermarriage.com. Thanks for joining us today.